The Lord be with you. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never be hungry. He who believes in me will never thirst. But as I have told you, you can see me and still you do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me, I shall not turn him away. Because I have come from heaven, not to do my own will, but to do the will of the one who sent me. Now the will of him who sent me is that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, and that I should raise it up on the last day. Yes, it is my Father's will, that whoever sees the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and that I shall raise him up on the last day. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every human person have different longings, desires, and dreams. Everyone wants to be happy and live a fulfilling life. But how many really know what happiness means? Many are unclear of what really we want out of life and in life. Many will say, oh, happiness is, I hope to have a better job, greater financial security, good health, a loving family, good friends, enjoy a good holiday, and the like. These are all good, good to have. But there's no assurance that even if we have all of this whole list of things that we wish to have, will give us the true meaning of what happiness and fulfillment of life is all about. The answer is found in today's gospel. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never be hungry, and he who believes in me will never thirst. Which is to say that if we truly believe in Jesus, he will be the fulfillment of all our deepest desires, longings in life. And that means we will live and attain the happiness that our heart longs to have. That's the foundation. That's the purpose. And in that living of the fullness of our life in Jesus, Jesus promises us that we, the happiness will not only be in this world, but will be for all eternity. And with great sadness, he says to the crowd, you see me, but you do not believe. Many of us believe, but Jesus is not yet the center and the foundation of our lives. We put Jesus at the background of our lives. And that can also mean that we come and do what is needed of the faith, we practice the faith, but we do not live the faith in the real way that Jesus intends us to live the faith. Because if Jesus is the true center and foundation of our lives, then everything we do must come from the source of our love for Jesus. But if Jesus is at the background of our lives, The Divine Mercy has one, St. Faustina had one insight. Say, why is there suffering in the world? Jesus with sadness says to St. Faustina, he says, sometime without suffering, people don't, they don't, they don't know me. They take things for granted. Don't wait for a crisis in life before we turn back to God. Because if God is not the center of our life daily, 
our faith in Him can gradually weaken. And when crisis eventually comes, we are too weak to turn back to God for many. They get angry with God, they leave the church, they get confused, disoriented with people and life, and blames God. That is because if we take God for granted in our daily lives, then the foundation and our relationship with God is weak. It's like any other relationship. If relationships are weak, if there's a quarrel, and all the, all the anxieties that have been bottled up for many years, one day we, the person cannot take it anymore, and the smallest spark of disagreement, the whole marriage relationship breaks up. All relationship must be nurtured. And Jesus assures us, as in today's gospel, whoever the Father gives me, I will make sure that I will not lose them. Even those who have left the church, so to speak, are not yet totally lost. In so far as we are alive, and we have still the gift of the gift of life, of breath, breathing alive, and still have the freedom to choose, never write off anyone. Pray. Pray for these people. Pray for ourselves that our faith be renewed each day and not be taken for granted. Our renewal of love for God must be daily. That is why when we are connected with God, we desire to to be with Him in the silence of our prayer. But if we get so con caught up in so many, including good things, if the good we do, do not, is not connected with God, it's not yet the fullness of love that we are showing. But if the fullness of love in our heart is connected with God, even though life can be filled with trials, challenges and pains that threaten us in so many ways because of that love for God we will never feel alone there's always hope there's always strength to know that God will never allow things to be so traumatic and so threatening that they will crush us there will always be hope there will always be light and that light is the divine light and that strength is the bread of life that comes from Jesus, who is our Lord and Savior. So let us get our basics of life in place. We will never fulfill the longings of our hearts and dreams. And even if we fulfill them, if without God at the center, they will never be lasting. Only when we put God at the center of our lives in all that we do, and those many of us who are doing that, which is very good, we are called to continue to deepen that and be grateful to God for all the blessings we have received. And if that is the case, we will desire even to be more authentic in living our lives for God. Love has no boundaries. The depth of love is infinite in so far as we unite our love and life with the Lord.